Good morning. How's everyone doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Got a nice Sunday, beautiful sunrise. This is from Carolee Adams. Fort Clinch is where she said she took that photo from. Again, that's over at the First Coast Weather Watchers group, man. That's where all the great photos are. Everything is groovy in there. Go join it if you're not a part of it. Come on in, say hello. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Angela. Good to see you. Happy Sinatra Sunday. Angela's always joining in on a Sunday morning where we drink some coffee. We've got Sinatra on in the background. we got the uh, coffee going this morning. We've got the espresso going. It's going to be a nice day today. We are going to see an increase in some showers and thunderstorms today. Uh, a little bit more so than we saw on our Saturday. Not a complete washout today. You know, we'll get plenty of sun in between the passing showers and thunderstorms. Uh, there are a couple offshore. A few tried to make their way onshore this morning. So uh, a couple raindrops in uh, northern St. Johns County, coastal county, northern St. Johns, the coast of northern St. Johns County, kind of in the Ponte Vedra area. There's some lightning offshore in Palm Coast. I think this thunderstorm complex is going to weaken as it makes its way onshore. So maybe just some raindrops for um, St. Augustine area and northern Palm Coast over the next couple of hours. Uh, that's kind of what we expected for salt lifers, just like a brief morning shower. Um, once the sea breeze really gets going, it's kind of restarting after it backed off last night. We're restarting this morning, so we're just going with a brief morning, a brief shower uh, this morning at the coast. Uh, once the sea breeze gets going, it's going to take that moisture and work, push it off towards the west and work it inland. We'll have a beach day for, for, for those that want to get out to enjoy some sunshine. Just rip current's going to be concerned. Surf is building a little bit. It's about two to three feet at nine seconds by the end of the day today. So some surfers are going to enjoy um, some some waves. Careful the rip currents if you go and swim in, though, because the ocean temperature is 85 degrees. That's like a bathtub. That is like a bathtub. So careful if you're swimming around. All righty. Uh, the day today is pretty groovy. Just some showers and thunderstorms for lunch. That's what's on the menu for the day today. Good morning, Nina. How you doing? Buongiorno. Cousin Frank, what's up, man? How you doing? Good to see you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. If we haven't gotten the gist of it by now, uh, this is like my way of hanging out with all my friends and family who I can't be with, especially during the current, you know, nature of the country right now. We can't really go out and about and hang out with friends all that much, so it's cool to just uh, hang out with all y'all virtually here with some coffee and music in the background. All right, let's get to uh, stick to weather here. We're going to top out today at about 91 degrees, so right near 90. We hit 93 yesterday, which felt pretty good with the breeze. It wasn't all that hot. Um, there will be sun in between the showers and the clouds. So in between the passing clouds and shower, there will be sun because these are going to be on and off. So under that sun, it'll feel pretty toasty. And the warm, the breeze will feel pretty nice and, and warm as well. Now, the showers start to develop around lunchtime, around 11 a.m. or noon. Right uh, kind of along I-95 or so, just west of I-95. And then they'll work west with the sea breeze into the afternoon. So this is about 1 o'clock on your radar. Notice some showers, a couple thunderstorms around into 2, 3 o'clock. Some more showers and thunderstorms around. Uh, of course, there'll be um, some solid downpours with a few of these. And then lightning, always a concern in any sort of shower and or thunderstorm. If you like the rain and you want more of it, we get it this week. We're actually going to front load the work week with some um, better rain and shower chances. Shower, or I should say shower and thunderstorm chances. The flow is going to switch. I mean, it's been coming out of the south and the east all like week this past week. All week. So what's going to end up happening is it switches out of the south and the west, which is a little bit muggier. It brings in a little bit more moisture, uh, more humidity. Humidity is just water in the air, so that's going to be on the rise. So that just gives us a better chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms uh, for the week ahead. We're going to be in the 90s. Rain chances this week pretty much going to be 40 to 60 percent coverage. So 40 to 60 percent of us are going to see some shower and thunderstorm thunderstorms today, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So uh, we get some rain this week. Some folks uh, on social media, Facebook, uh, have been asking for it. They've been wanting it for their lawns. So that's some good stuff as well. You have a wonderful day as well, Heather. Good morning. How you doing, Chris? William. Good morning. Wendy. Good morning. Brandon, here's the Frank. We got uh, the playlist on. We got Frank. We got Dean Martin. We got Louis Prima. 
the good stuff. We got the good stuff on a Sunday. Um, okay, now let's talk about what's going on in the tropics. Because there's a lot going on in the tropics. Our week of weather looks pretty good. We're going to be in the 90s with some thunderstorms around. So nothing too crazy locally. Now, in the tropics, the activity has been what kind of is like what happens in August. Uh, late August, September. It's kind of what it's been like, but it's July still. You know, the oceans are real, real warm. What we're going to watch for is some more development in the open Atlantic over the next couple of days. So, uh, while we have no concerns, we have nothing to lose sleep over. This isn't something to lose sleep over. This is still a couple thousand miles away from the first coast. Even when it does develop over the next couple of, day, a couple of days, it's still going to be a couple thousand miles away from the first coast. But do expect another tropical cyclone out of this by maybe Tuesday, maybe Tuesday into Wednesday. It would be the I name, and we're probably going to be talking about it through the week. Um, this could be a system that sticks around. Um, in the longer range forecasts, Isaias is the I name storm there. So uh, something to keep in mind. Again, nothing to be concerned about. Nothing to lose sleep over. We have no immediate concerns or anything like that. I showed you that you know our. We just talked about the week's weather. The forecast looks, you know, pretty good. Nothing crazy. Just by like Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, just by like Tuesday or Wednesday, we will. Uh, just check back in with us by Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll have a better idea. We'll have some more answers on where uh, that may be wanted to go, uh, what's up with it, how strong is it going to be, um, that sort of deal. Sorry, Heather. I just The music was a little loud. I'm sorry about that. Just lowered it. Um, now, over in the Pacific Ocean is Hurricane Douglas. This is The reason I'm showing to you is because it's going to be impacting the Hawaiian Islands um, by later Sunday into Monday, our time, Hawaiian time, pretty much just Sunday. Category 1 storm potentially can make landfall on the Hawaiian Islands. So wind and rain expected to finish the weekend. Uh, now this is something that once was rare, you know, back in the day. But now with just more frequent storms, warmer waters, more activity when it comes to tropical activity, you know, that just means there's a better chance that the Hawaiian Islands are going to be in the mix when it comes to any sort of hurricanes. Now, Hurricane Douglas, the D-name in the Pacific ocean so they have a different set of names right um, and also any sort of tropical cyclone that forms in the eastern or central pacific is a hurricane in the western pacific like out towards the continent of asia that's a typhoon so that's just the difference if you're curious what is the difference between a hurricane and a typhoon i thought typhoons are in the pacific why is it a hurricane typhoons are in the western pacific hurricanes in the pacific are in the central and um Eastern, and then of course in the Atlantic. Uh, here's Hannah, made landfall last night in southeastern Texas on uh, the island, Padre Island, and uh, is now kind of moving into northeastern Mexico. The rain's starting to settle down for parts of coastal southeastern Texas, but still uh, uh, big time issues when it comes to flooding um, and, and rain and some wind, some damage down in southeastern Texas. Not a pretty sight. So um, food for thought with, with Hannah. I'll go back to the satellite imagery because it's a little bit uh, prettier with the bright colors there. On Wednesday, so Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday. So about three, four days ago, this was not even a tropical depression. It wasn't even a tropical depression. Then on Friday afternoon, there still wasn't any sort of hurricane watch in place for com some coastal areas in southeastern Texas. So the idea of that, you know, there's not even a hurricane watch or hurricane warnings in place Friday afternoon and then Saturday morning, snap your fingers, it becomes a hurricane. And if it had a couple more miles of ocean, it would have been a Category 2 right on landfall. It was close to becoming a Category 2 storm. It was, strong, it was strengthening. It just rapidly intensified as the um, it progressed to land. So food for thought to show how warm the waters are. It doesn't matter where these storms are, even if they're just a stone's throw from the coastline. Um, the waters are so warm closer to land that these systems can really intensify very quickly. Um, something that is very challenging when it comes to forecasting tropical cyclones of recent. We've pretty much nailed down where they go. The cone, cone of uncertainty, where they end up going, that's pretty much locked in but the intensity is really tough to forecast. All right, locally, we have no concerns. 
over the next five to five-ish days or so, our seven-day forecast looks pretty good. Just increasing the showers and thunderstorms. Again, we talked about them today with the sea breeze. Not all that bad, though. I'll still be able to get out. Hopefully, you can be able to get out and enjoy some of the sunshine in those passing showers and thunderstorms, passing clouds. There'll be some. There'll be some sunshine. Muggier with some more thunderstorms around Monday into Tuesday, and we'll stick keep the 90s around pretty much all week. We will uh, maybe see some drier conditions by by the end of the week. Alrighty. Uh, Angela, no, I don't think so. She's asking her son's driving to Cali. I think it'll be fine. Um, I'm assuming he's taking 10 across. He should be fine. Uh, no other questions. Thanks for hanging, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for hanging. We will uh, sign off. I'll see you back here later this evening, this afternoon, this evening. Keep you updated. If you have any other questions about the, the forecast or what's going on in the tropics, it's all on our website. Just go to firstcoastnews.com slash weather. There are two articles there. There's the forecast blog, which just focuses on, hey, what's happening for us locally, a little blurb on what's going on in the tropics, what we need to know locally for the tropics. And then there's also a tropical article kind of talks about what's going on all across the globe any new development, what's going on with Hannah, what's going on with Hurricane Douglas over in the Pacific. So if you've got any more questions, just go right over to firstcoastnews.com slash weather. It's all there. All right, folks, we'll see you uh, on the TV later on this afternoon.